Hello again, Magic Community. T1 Glistener Elf with another vintage untap open link game. This is going to be versus the same opponent, EPT Hopper. This is me on Blazing Infect, of course, because T1 Glistener Elf, no Glistener Elves. I've, I've given this spiel four times already, so I'll make it quick. So Blazing Shoal is the, the big gun in the card, in the deck. Gun in the card. I'm tired, by the way. I'm recording this a little bit too late. Uh, but, you know, do what you have to do when you have a family. Blazing Shoal is uh, going to cost zero mana, and it's going to give plus 10 plus 0, or, alternatively, plus 9 plus 0, and with Infect, that's lethal. So we're looking to assemble that combo. Otherwise, we can Tinker for Blightsteel, or we have one copy of Show and Tell. So if one of these Progenitus or Blightsteel gets lodged in our hand and we can't do anything about it, we can do something about it. Uh, we have Mystical Tutor, so we can get Blasphemous Act if we don't have a Progenitus, or Show and Tell if we have one of them stuck in our hand. Uh, other than that, Tutors, Draw Power, Getaxing Probe is really good. Uh, only two Mental Missteps. Our only other counter magic is Four Force, because of, of course, and a Spell Pierce. The usual Cantrip Package, plus two Preordains, and the full set of Moxen, so we can get a Turn 1 Blighted Agent or Plague Stinger. Uh, 17 lands for our Ink Moth Nexus, so not a lot of blue mana in the deck. My opponent is on Survival, and because because it's a card, it's gonna be a Lavinia Survival deck. Dear God, why? Why? Now, good news, good news for me. Despite having four Lavinia, it's also running four Bizarre Baghdad. So it is possible that my opponent will not be able to get a turn to Lavinia all that readily, and so that might buy me a little bit of time, even if just a little bit. Survival of the Fittest, it's going to be running the staples. It runs four Basking Group Wallet because they're just free. Squee to build up some card advantage. Vengevine because you're going to be playing this thing. You're going to get that out pretty quickly. Hollow One combos with Bizarre Baghdad so you can survival for Hollow One. And if you use Bizarre Baghdad that turn, ta-da, get that for free. Phantasmal. It's a Force of Will list but only 15 blue cards in the main counting the Force of Wills. Uh, and part, some of what you might have to pitch is Lavinia, which, you know, I'm okay with. So this is, uh, this is fair enough. Four Mox Diamond, by the way. So my opponent has only 19 lands, and this one, when it comes into play, they have to discard a land or sack it. And it makes one man of any color. So that will help get Lavinia out, but again, only 19 lands. Granted, I imagine they probably built the deck with that in mind. So with that being said... Okay, and scribe. So this is, uh, this is fine. I only have one creature. I have a Blighted Agent, and I have Progenitus, so I have half the, I have two, depending on how you count it, either half or two-thirds of the combo. My opponent does not have any bolts. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Uh, so we're going to keep. And plus Getaxian Probe will draw me a card in, and I will say keep. Cool. So let's, let's give it a go, I guess. All right. Mm-hmm. It might actually be a little slow. Oh, hi, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, Bizarre is good. Drawing two. I see, I might see a hollow one in my near future. Some number of hollow one. That is a way the deck can win, just n never cast anything other than hollow one. G'day, mate. It's the Geico Gecko. It's just a 1-1, one -one, except when it's a 3-3. Three -three. That's... Wait, 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 wait. So we'll we'll draw first. We will see what my opponent discarded. Riftstone Portal. Okay, so this is actually going to tap for mana now. Uh, one of Rift, three of Riftstone Portal. Interesting. Okay, so never mind. They can get turn two Lavinia. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun to deal with. So let's first just play it out. Pay two. See if my opponent has the misstep. Do you have it? Oh god. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, that's a savannah. So Riftstone Portal only lets this tap for green-white. Savannah only makes green-white. Survival of the fittest. Okay, so what I imagine my opponent is probably going to do is play the survival out next turn. Or, alternatively, they could do Bizarre Baghdad and try to keep going from there. Alright. Keep it revealed? Question mark? Please? Oh man, I hate when I do that. When I hit caps lock a little a little late. 
All right, so we're gonna draw a card, draw a cad. Oh, that's a plague stinger. Is there any reason for me to play the Plague Stinger here instead? Let me look at what sources of flying my opponent has. I know they have Wonder, which will just straight up give flying, as long as they control an island. Which they don't, but, you know, other than that, so let's see. Phantasmal, Elvish, that has, that has flying, doesn't it? You would think it has flying. It does not. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, it's just gonna be Wonder. They have to have Wonder in their yard, and they have to have an island. And right now they have neither. So... I think it's okay. I would like to go turn one underground sea, mox, plague stinger. Go from there. I believe that that's correct. Alternatively, I can fetch here for some deck thinning, which I believe is correct. I believe that that's correct. So we're going to find a card. Since I have another fetch land in hand anyway, get out an underground sea, play a mox. I'm assuming that's good. Stop me if you need. All right. We're going to see if my opponent has it. What you got? If I play the blighted agent instead, then I won't have a blue card if I draw a force. I mean, I will, but I'll have Progenitus, and I, I kind of want Progenitus for the combo. And then we're gonna say, pass turn. All right, I'm, sometimes I'm glad I'm not streaming. My opponent doesn't have the chance to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Thank you, opponent, by the way, for keeping that revealed. That's really, that's really good of you. So, Vengevine, God, I hate this card. Savannah. Survival. For, for reference sake, I'm counting this, I'm in five rounds of Vintage so far. In those five rounds, I've come across 15 copies of Lavinia. Four, 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 and three. Well, this one's a four, but you get the idea. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. No surprise about the, the Venge Vine. Okay, so we're just gonna... Why did you... I assume my opponent meant to get rid of the one that was revealed, and so they accidentally revealed that, that there was another survival. I would think. Hollow one is good. Yup. Yup. Geico Gecko. Swinging for one. Yo, S1 is swing one. And that doesn't have haste, so I am under a bit of a clock. It's not much. But I am under a clock. Now, my opponent has two cards in hand. You know what that means? Uh, <laughs> not a lot, actually. Uh, two cards in hand means they don't have Force of Will. They, they can't have Force of Will. I'm just going to... Hmm... By the way, Lavinia, whenever opponent cast a spell, if no mana was spent... Uh, but, however, each opponent can't cast non-creature spells, so... The first clause that you see up there only applies to non-creatures. The second clause applies to spells, period. So theoretically, Mimnite. <laughs> uh, not a thing in my deck. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I, I would like to do another fetch land. I would like to play Scalding Tarn. Put the idea in my opponent's head. Why am I doing this now? Now, let's see. At this point, I have to hold Blighted Agent back. I think, I mean, well, I, can't, I have to anyway, because it, it's summoning sick. But what I mean is that one of these is going to have to block. Blasking Root Wallet is going to have to be blocked, because otherwise I take seven every turn instead of four. So I'm going to go to combat. It doesn't actually make any difference here, but I'm going to represent a slow burn. So we're going to swing. Uno. Alright. Yeah, no effects. No effects. And uh, we'll pass turn. And my opponent is breathing a sigh of relief. I didn't have it. Which means 
Lavinia is coming down. Bum bum bum. 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 I would actually like to see. I believe that the wording for madness is the card is exiled instead, uh, rather than going to the graveyard first. So something like leyline would not affect it. And then I'll take four. You you better play it, or actually you don't even have to. You can just keep the bazaar up, because <laughs> you found a mox. <sighs> Sadly, yep. Yep. My turn. Gonna do some deck thinning. I need to find something really quickly. My, I'm getting fewer and fewer answers, unfortunately. Yep. Alright, and now we'll draw. I don't actually have OCD, but I am gonna... Oh no, I got them stuck again. I hate when that happens. Okay, well... Jeez. I actually lose this game. I can't win off Infect anymore, so in just a moment I'm gonna block a uh, hollow one with Plague Stinger. Right, I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay. They got them st all. They got them stuck again. And um, we're gonna say pass. Get to hold up Spell Pierce. Good times. Good times. <sighs> I'm not aware of anything that I could have done. So I'm going to block here. Take two. I'm going to spell pierce this on the way down. Nope, nope, that's a, that's a phantasmal image. That's not good. Yep. Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, by the way, um... Minus one, minus one counter. The reason is because I'm, uh, I'm dead. I mean, this is nine no matter what. Game two. All right, you got it. Then we'll just move it on. Okay, so cards to bring in. Echoing Truth obviously comes in. I, that, that should go without saying. It kind of has to. Leyline of the Void... Raven's Trap. So there's a, a little bit of a trick here. Uh, it works on Vengevine. I mean, these graveyard hate effects, like Graft Digger's Cage, Ravenous Trap, Leyline, they work on Vengevine. They work on Squee. It's my understanding, and I'll check just to make sure. Hello. Oops, yeah, I hit another letter. I don't believe if you discard it, discard it into exile. Yep, yep. I just, I just saw that. Discard it into exile. When you do, cast it. Blah 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 blah. Or put it in your grave. So it's exiled first. Okay, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It means that it works on Vengevine, Squee. Not much. Hollow one. I mean, hollow one. Wonder. Treasure cruise, sort of. Ravenous Trap and 
Ley Line will hurt Treasure. I'm not going to bring in Grafdigger's Cage, but I think the other two cards are probably okay. Hercules Recall is a little awkward, because it only really hits Hollow One. And I'll, I'll check that again just to make sure. It hits Hollow One and some Moxin. But they can play the Hollow One again off of a Bazaar, and the Moxin they can just cast back. The only exception to that might be Mox Diamond, because they're having to discard a land if they can't do that. Ta-da! But that's still not enough of a reason to keep Hercules Recall in. So that's coming out. Hercules Recall out. Oh, and by the way, uh, we'll, we'll put Ravenous Trap in as well, I believe. I believe that that's correct. Um, yeah, I, I can tutor for it if nothing else. And I imagine I probably have some dead cards in here, other than Hercules Recall. You know, I think I have a case. I So, Ancestral Recall, Mental Misstep, I'm looking at things that can be misstepped. Um, Basking Rootwalla. Mental Misstep might get to go. It hits Ancestral, and that's a big deal. But I don't know that it it makes the cut. Oh, I passed it. Mental... Passed it. A little... <laughs> oh, good grief. Mental Misstep. One, two. Okay. We're gonna try it. Okay, let's, let's go for it. Here goes nothing. Oh, no, wrong one. We are recording. We're good. This hand is, uh, not great. It's not what it needs to be. It's not what it needs to be. Okay. Now, if I find blue mana, I have consultation to get Blazing Shoal. No, no, I need blue or black mana, so anything other than Basic Island. Um, I'll be, I'll be good here. Blue mana will give me a time walk for another chance. Demonic Tutor. I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get two shots at it. I'm going to get Gitaxian Probe. I'm going to play the Inkmoth Nexus. And then I'll have one more draw. And we'll see. And my opponent's mulling, so I think this is okay. Keep. Now, that said, watch them immediately misstep this. I assume they left misstep in the deck. I'm going to go out on a limb and say they left it in the deck. Even though it doesn't hit the combo itself. Ooh. Ooh, hi. Force Lavinia. So my opponent's going to get a turn one Lavinia. That sucks. No, they're not, because I have Force of Will. Unless they draw in the blue card. Okay. I'm going to draw a card, and there's, there's our land. That's great. That's great. We're in... we're in business. Now, I can play the fetch here. Unless I draw a Mox next turn, it doesn't make much of a difference to play the Ink Moth. The reason I say that is, if I play Ink Moth, I can swing next turn because it won't be summoning sick, but I won't have a Blazing Shoal unless it's the natural top deck. If I draw a Mox, and let me, let me check, I don't think this is a strip mine list, it's not. If I draw a Mox, I can use that to activate, and then have black mana for Demonic Consultation, so I can have my cake and eat it, too. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to... Hmm. <laughs> oh my good. You know what? Never mind. I can, I can have my cake and eat it, too, because I have a Time Walk in hand. Although, I'm about to have to force pitch time walk, so never mind, it, it's not actually a big deal. It doesn't make a difference. Oh well, je ne sais pas. I don't know. Please don't draw a blue card. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, do not draw a blue card. Alright, drop your wooded foothills. Drop the one I know about. Yep, okay, that's right. Gonna do some fetching, or we're gonna play the mocks first, then do some fetching. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Please be gone. Okay, so Force of Will, no, not blue card. 
I don't want to fetch here. It, I would like to keep that up. I, it's not a strip mine waste list. End of turn. Hmm. Okay. So it's a very small margin. I, I can fetch to make it more likely I'll draw... You know what? No. I have, I have Demonic Tutor. So we're going to hold that up. It's okay to have another land. I believe. I think. So we'd, and there's a Mox. Okay, so it, it would have worked, actually. As it turns out, it would have worked. If I had played the Ink Moth last turn, I would have a turn 2 kill here. Um, as it is, though, I did not, so I don't. Oh, hello. Let's, uh, let's go down one. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, you- I am so tired, YouTube. I'm sorry. So we're gonna find a card. Find an underground sea. We're gonna play an underground sea. We're gonna detutor. Yeah, and if you didn't counter to keep Lavinia up... What's this other card? It's not Lavinia, obviously, because it's not blue card for Force of Will. Okay. Stay awake, Jay. Stay awake. You got this. You got this. Okay. So, I can get Blazing Shoal, I can get Show and Tell, or I can get Tinker. All of those are viable here. But, if I get Blazing Shoal, I win next turn. If they top deck into Lavinia, though, I'm in trouble. No, I'm not, because I have... Well, I have Demonic Consultation, so I can name Tinker or Show and Tell. I'm going to name Show and Tell because I have a Progenitus in hand. Alright, add to my hand. Alright, cool. And then I'm going to say pass. Alright, stay awake. Stay awake. Drink your coffee. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is two games in a row, so I'm just pooped. Two games in a row, and very late at night. Now, my opponent only has 15 blue cards in the deck. There's a Force of Will, so 14 cards, 14 blue cards left. That's a Basking Root Walla. They don't have a blue card in hand. I think if my opponent had Basking Root Walla Force of Will last turn, they would have played it last turn on their open mana. So I'm, I'm good to go. No counter, I'm guessing. Okay, if my opponent does, Spell Pierce actually doesn't do me any good here, unfortunately. Crap. Stuck again, lol. LOL. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to fix that. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it, to be honest. Hiya? Refresh that usually fixes it. Refresh the page. To page. I swear. Alright. Blazing Shoal Pitch Progenitus. Alright. Game three. Cool. Refresh the page, see if that fixes it. Yep, oh, okay, well. I, I did wait to, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Ta-da, okay. I, I assume my opponent's not gonna be a bad person and be like, no, I'm gonna make you lose this game because you you dropped out by refreshing. Um, it's on camera anyway, so... And I, I don't think, based on what I've seen in the Discord chat, that EP's gonna be that person, but... You know. Just making sure, so I went for the kill first. Okay, um... I I like what all I have. Uh, I think it's... It's good... 
No, I think this is fine. Mm. I think there's a case to be made for taking out Leyline because... So, Brevin is trapped you can tutor for. Uh, you can tutor for Leyline as well, but it won't do you any good after the opening hand. Basically, it won't. Whereas with Ravenous Trap, I can Demonic Tutor, I can D-Tutor for it, I can Vamp Tutor, I can Mystical Tutor and go and get it, and uh, it, it might actually do something right then. It's not as impactful as Leyline, but Leyline's not even that impactful in this, in this matchup anyway. What it would do is it would free up one of my mental missteps to come back in, which is okay against blue decks, I don't know that it has enough hits, though, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. Alright. Oh, stop going to six. My guy. I've been watching too much Smash Bros. What's up, my guy? Okay, so, Land, Mox, Blighted Agent, Blazing Shoal, Progenitus, Gitaxian Probe, Tinker. I'm going to keep so hard. I'm going to keep so hard. So we're going to get Probe first. This is almost literally the perfect hand. Almost. It, if that Tinker were a Force of Will, or if I were playing Pact and that were in there. All right, so we're gonna draw a card. Oh, oh, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. There's no Force. I, I'm seeing Vengevine, Wonder, Trop, Survival, Riftstone. Um, turn to Trop, Survival, then go and get Lavinia, is I assume what my opponent's going to try to do. I, I would think, I would think, I could be wrong. So you discard the Wonder, get Lavinia, and try to go from there to shut me off. Cool. So we're gonna draw. This is godlike. This is absolutely godlike, what, what's going on here. And yeah, that's supposed to be in the yard. I'm, I'm getting there, I'm working, I'm working at it. I'm working here. Play a Mox. My, my opponents just have six. There's nothing they can do, so whatever. This is almost literally the perfect hand. If they don't discard the Wonder here, if they discard the Vengevine instead, well, it doesn't matter because they won't have the mana for uh, for survival, the, the discard for survival anyway. But they do get blue card in hand. If that's a force, I will be slowed down just a little bit, but even if that is a force, I have Tinker. So I will be okay. Yep. We're gonna untap. We're gonna go ahead and draw. Gonna play our Ink Moth first. Got Force. <laughs> nice. Hi. Uh, thanks. I was sweating. Knees weak. <laughs> Gotta reference that Eminem. Arms heavy. Okay. Um, none of my sideboard cards showed up. In, I'm gonna say sideboard in, uh, echoing truth. Oh, okay, cool. I, I thought maybe I might have spelled it incorrectly for a second. Thought I might have hit the keys incorrectly. Ravenous trap, ley line, and uh, out. Two misstep, two mental misstep. One. Hercules Recall. All right. Oh yeah, let me reveal my hand. I mean, it doesn't matter. My opponent can see. Um, reveal all once. So there we go. And the, the Tinker too. Seems good. Seems good. I built the deck to be, you know, as much as I like Glistener Elf, it does lose to Bistep. 
alas. Okay, well, good times. Man, I don't know how I did that. Yeah, thanks for playing. I was about to say you're a champ or something. That that might come across as rubbing it in. I don't want I don't want that impression. Thanks for the great games. Um I'll play you next time. I'm gonna go shout him out on Discord real quick. Cause uh yeah, just you you EP, I don't know who you are, I don't know if you're watching this, but I've seen you around in Discord and you seem you seem pretty helpful. So, you know. For someone that's new to the format like me, I appreciate that. Anyway, Magic Community, take care. I will see you later. I'm gonna get so much sleep. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get so much sleep after this. Oh Zombie J. Zombie J. Zombie T1 Glistener Zombie. Alright. But enough of that silliness. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye bye.